The symbol capital D subscript zero or D zero is the hypothesized difference between two population means. For example, a politician might claim that adult female workers make $5,000 less per year than adult male workers. D0 would, would equal then $5,000. To test this claim, you first state the hypothesis. The politician's claim can be rephrased as follows. The difference in female and male worker annual earnings equals $5,000. This phrase is what we call the null hypothesis, or HO. The null hypothesis is always associated with the equal sign. The alternative hypothesis, HA, is the opposite of the null. The following is the opposite of the above null hypothesis. The difference in female and male worker annual earnings is not equal to $5,000. This alternative hypothesis could be phrased as follows. The difference in female and male worker annual earnings is less than or greater than $5,000. For this reason, this is a two-tailed test. In a left or lower tail test, the difference in population means is greater than or equal to its hypothesized difference under the null hypothesis. The opposite of this is the alternative hypothesis, which is the difference in population means is less than its hypothesized difference. Notice that the null hypothesis is associated with the equal sign, and that the alternative hypothesis identifies the test as being lower or left-tailed. In a right or upper-tailed test, the difference in population means is less than or equal to its hypothesized difference under the null hypothesis. The opposite of this is the alternative hypothesis, which is the difference in population means is greater than its hypothesized difference. Notice that the null hypothesis is associated with the equal sign at the, and that the alternative hypothesis identifies the test as being upper or right tailed. The numerator of the test statistic is the difference in sample means minus the hypothesized difference of the population means. Most of the time the hypothesized difference, D0, is equal to zero. When this is the case, you are testing whether X bar 1 is greater than, less than, or equal to X bar 2. The denominator of this statistic is the standard error of the difference in means. The test statistic is derived from the interval estimate. By definition, D0 is the difference between population means. Since the difference in the population means is in the interval estimate most of the time, D0 is in the interval estimate most of the time. Intuitively, if we replace plus or minus Z subscript alpha divided by 2 with minus z stat, we could say that d0 equals the difference in sample means minus the product of z stat and the standard error of the difference in means. Solving this for z stat yields the test statistic. Subtracting the difference in sample means from both sides of the equation eliminates the difference in sample means on the right hand side of the equation. Multiplying both sides by negative 1 changes the negative sign in front of the difference in sample means to positive. The positive sign in front of D0 and the negative sign in front of z stat. Dividing both sides by the standard error cancels out the standard error on the right side of the equation, leaving only z stat on the right. Hence, z stat's numerator 
is the difference in sample means minus the hypothesized difference in the population means, while the denominator is the standard error of the difference in means. Returning to the par golf example, answer the following question. Can we, can we conclude using a 5% level of significance that the mean driving distance of par ink golf balls is greater than the mean driving distance of wrap limited golf balls? This is a research question because we want to know if par golf balls fly farther than wrap golf balls. If par golf balls fly further than wrap golf balls, then mu1 is greater than mu2. Subtracting mu2 from both sides yields mu1 minus mu2 greater than mu2 minus mu2. Since the right hand side of this inequality is zero, we can say mu1 minus mu2 is greater than zero. Ste in step one, we develop the hypotheses. Mu1 minus mu2 is greater than zero is the alternative hypothesis because the opposite of the statement is associated with the words equals. Hence, the null hypothesis is mu1 minus mu2 is less than or equal to zero. Here, d0 or the hypothesized difference is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis indicates that this is an upper tail test. In step two, we specify the level of significance and use this to determine the critical value. If the significance level is 5%, then alpha is equal to 0.05. Alpha is divided by 1 because this is a one-tailed test. For this reason, there is only one z critical value, which can be found by looking in the standard normal table or the last row or infinity row of the t-distribution table. Recall that the t-distribution is a standard normal distribution for infinitely large sample sizes. The z critical value is 1.645 because this is the value in the infinity row and 0.05 column of the t distribution table. The z critical value is positive because this is an upper tail test. Had this been a lower tail test, we'd use negative 1.645 as the critical value. In step three, we compute the value of the test statistic. Substituting x bar one equal to 275, x bar two equal to 258, d zero equal to zero, population one standard deviation of 15, population two standard deviation of 20, sample size 1 equal to 120, and sample size 2 equal to 80 yields 17 minus 0 in the numerator, and the square root of the sum of 1.875 and 5 in the denominator, or 17 yards, the point estimate of the difference in population means, divided by 2.62 yards the standard error of the difference. Hence the z-stat is equal to 6.49. In step four, draw the distribution to help you reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The z-critical value is positive 1.645 because this is an upper tail test, which was de determined from the alternative hypothesis mu1 minus mu2 is greater than zero. The probability that z is greater than the critical value of 1.645 is equal to the significance level of 0 0.050. The critical value defines the do not reject the null and the reject the null regions. 
The null hypothesis is rejected because z stat equal to 6.49 is in the reject the null region because it is greater than the critical value of 1.645. At 5% level of significance, the sample evidence indicates the mean driving distance of par golf balls is greater than the mean driving distance of wrap golf balls. Now in practice, we will not know the population variances. This means we have to estimate them using sample standard deviations. The test statistic is slightly different than the previous one. The previous one was de denoted Z stat, while here it is denoted T stat. We do this because T stat's distribution is exactly the T distribution if both populations are normal. Also notice that the Greek letter sigma has been replaced by the letter S. Sigma is used to denote the population standard deviation, while S is used to denote the sample standard deviation. T stat's expected value is zero. T stat's variance is greater than one when the degrees of freedom, DF, is small but gets closer to one as the degrees of freedom gets larger. This is why the T values in the infinity row of the T distribution table are also Z values. In chapter nine, the degrees of freedom of the T stat were equal to the sample size minus one. This is not the case in chapter 10 because there are two populations. The degrees of freedom are approximately equal to N1 plus n minus 2 when the sample sizes are identical and the sample standard deviations are identical. Since this is rare, we use the following equation to compute the degrees of freedom. The t distribution is the approximate distribution of t stat if either the distributions of population 1 and 2 are roughly symmetric and the sum of the sample sizes is at least 20. Or the distributions of population one and two are heavily skewed and the sum of sample sizes is large. In the example below, specific motors of Detroit has developed a new automobile known as the M car. 24 M cars and 28 J cars, J cars are from Japan, were road tested to compare miles per gallon performance. The sample statistics are, the size of sample one is 24 cars. The size of sample two is 28 cars. The M cars had an average fuel economy of 29.8 miles per gallon. The J cars had an average fuel economy at 27.3 miles per gallon. The M car's fuel economy standard deviation was equal to 2.56 miles per gallon. The J car's fuel economy standard deviation was equal to 1.81 miles per gallon. Again, both of these standard deviations were computed from the samples. They are sample standard deviations. Develop a 90% confidence interval estimate of the difference between the mile per gallon performance of the two models of automobiles. The point estimate of the difference in population means is equal to x bar 1 minus x bar 2, which is equal to 29.8 miles per gallon minus 27.3 miles per gallon or 2.5 miles per gallon. This is only anecdotal evidence that M cars have better gas mileage than J cars. We need statistical evidence.